Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. The sun's coming up. It's about 4.10 in the morning. We got to be at work at 4.50. So, uh, it should be, a, should be a normal day. We got a few trucks going up to Moses Lake, but I'm staying here. So, I'm not sure what's going on up there. But they didn't want me back because they didn't want me to blow another tire, I guess. But, uh... Anyway, it's going to be about 90 degrees today, so um, I'm expecting uh, you know, busy morning, sort of taper off in the afternoon like it normally does when it starts getting hot. So I'm going to get to work. I'll see you guys at the yard. Okay, it's 4.48. I got clocked in. My truck's parked over here today because I left it at the shop on Friday afternoon. For some reason, when my tire blew on Friday, the other headlight went out. We'll get the truck up and running and uh, it'll probably be pretty quick. We'll get loaded right away, I think. Okay, got the truck ready to go. Miguel is done loading and he's the guy that comes in right before me. So uh, in the morning, as soon as Miguel loads, whether or not I have a ticket, I go ahead and back under so I'm ready. Cause it's always the same order in the morning. Go back under real quick, fill up my water tank and then uh, we'll get loaded. I got a spot, I go even with that bar and then another like foot and then I go back even with that bar and that should be perfect. yards so I'm just gonna back up and rinse off the truck and put some water in we got 10 bags of fiber so I'll throw the fiber in the drum so it can mix up real good and that just acts like uh, sort of a reinforcement for the concrete kind of like rebar I gotta put about 20 gallons in it never been to this spot before it looks like an existing home it's not like new construction or anything so I'm guessing it's gonna be a, a driveway addition or a patio or something like that so it'll take about 15 20 minutes to get there I'll check in with you guys when I get to the job site okay it should be coming up to the job site right on the other side of these bushes here should be. Well, I guess it is new construction. It's just not in a development. It's just a a house. You know, a new new build. Okay. Well, Lupe is here, but I don't know if he's done anything yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. So I'll just get flipped around and wait and see what happens. done anything yet so it's gonna be a little while they were still saw cutting the asphalt joint and laying down uh, felt along the edges all right it is our turn I'm not sure where they're gonna want us to go but we'll just, I'll just get back to where Lupe was and they'll wave at me if they want me to go somewhere else Like that. I don't know whose car, I don't know who whose cars these are, but they are right in the middle, man. That BMW back there. It's probably the homeowner, but they should have warned him not to park there. So I'm just gonna sneak in between this car and this wall. He's gonna go ahead and put water in. Maybe not. Yeah, they're gonna want water though. pretty straightforward we we're able to back right in this little spot right here between the car and the wall we're just gonna dump out our 10 yards and that'll be it and these guys are a pretty good crew and there must be maybe there's something on the other side of the house or something but uh, I don't know where the other 10 yards is going to go, the next truck. Because I might just about finish this one off. There must be something on the other side that I didn't see. So, last truck just showed up. Oh, it's Matt. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law. Where are you going? I don't know where he's going. He'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm just starting to rattle, so I probably got 
couple of yards left so I might not quite finish this spot off hey they must have another spot like on the other side of the house or something did you see it Cause I only got a couple yards left. Right. I got ten. Yeah, I know. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen first. If I'm gonna run out of mud or if we're gonna finish this section. Cause they don't have a whole lot left to do. But I don't have a whole lot of mud left either. I don't know, man. Let's find out together. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run out first. I'm almost done. Oh, it's gonna be close, man. Oh. He stopped the drum right before I was gonna <laughs> speed it up. He'll probably send me away anyway. Yeah, he gave me the sign, uh, the we're all done sign. So even though I didn't quite get everything out of the drum, it was close enough where they don't want to bother repositioning and uh, and going through all the hassle to get me over on the other side of the house where they need me just for a wheelbarrow or two so I might as well be empty I'm just gonna take this back to the yard and get loaded on top of it it's not enough to worry about so I'll just try to leave Matt enough room to get around me and uh, wash out in the same spot Lupe did I can see his pile back there, so. Oh, and I don't want to get too close to this electrical box. All right, that'll be good. Oh yeah, now they now they're gonna break out the power buggy. All right, so I'm just gonna wash out real quick. Just pulling back into the yard and there's nobody lined up or waiting so I'm guessing we're gonna get loaded again right away anyway just got a ticket so I will get loaded and rinse the truck down and then we'll be off to the next job looks like it's gonna be a, a big commercial site in Pasco so that'll be fun yards we're doing a, a curb machine it's a slip form curb machine so they're gonna pour the mud really dry so what they'll do is we will uh, we'll, we'll dump into a, a big machine as we move and it pours the curb as it goes there's no forms or anything so the concrete has to be dry enough that if you just plop it on the ground in the shape of a curb, it doesn't move. Okay, just pulling up to the job site. This is a massive 
distribution center. It's actually two buildings. Oh, here it is. Uh, looks like we're gonna head in and then back up to the curb machine. And then we're gonna go that way, straight towards this truck right here. machines are always fun we're gonna go along this string right here so I'll dump some into the curb machine going around the corner a little bit and then I'll straighten out so he wants me to straighten out so I'll get up here go through these cones straighten out Might not be far enough away from that string. I'm just blasting over road cones. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it right now. trucks here. It's Joel. Uh, so he's going to have to find a spot to hang out until I'm done. So this is it. Basically just keeping pace with the curb machine. Just keep my shoe right there in that little hopper. And it builds a curb and crawls along too. So it's pretty easy for me, especially in an automatic. It gets kind of painful in a manual. <laughs> but automatic, it's a breeze. All right. Well, I ran over just about every cone on the side of the road. But what are you going to do? The washout used to be right in front of me, but it uh, doesn't look like it's still there. Uh, so we'll go over here and see what we see. <clears throat> Maybe there's still a spot trucks are washing out, but they filled in the holes. I see some tire tracks and a little pile of gravel, so... Yeah, it looks like somebody's washed out there. I just got to be careful in this really soft sand. And then I'll just back up right there. Yeah, somebody's washed out there, so that's where I'm going to wash out. All right. Quick and easy. I'm going to wash out real quick. Shouldn't take too long. I don't have any shoots or anything. So we got 10 yards of curb <clears throat> done and we got the truck washed out. So we're gonna head out of this job site and go back to the yard. And it's only nine o'clock, it's hamburger o'clock. So we'll get, we'll get another one probably right away. It looks like we had a pretty busy day when I looked at the schedule. So we'll go back and see what else they got for us. Just getting back to the yard. It's about 9.30. Mm, I'm, 
I'm out of coffee though. I finished my coffee already. I'm getting sleepy. Ugh. I'll be alright. Don't worry about me. Well, we're just leaving the yard. We got loaded again. We're going back same place we were just at so it's just gonna be a, a round two of, of all that business so. these guys a present I hope they like it I brought you something build up right here yeah there it is all right yeah we're gonna we go over there yeah all right start at the top and go down you know it's just easier but this time we're going up the hill so it's a little more of a challenge but whatever tank right here that's level so you can see compared to where I'm at what a steep hill this is so this will be easy sidewalks are the easiest even though it is uphill Woo! it's hard to go easy on that uphill but I'm in an automatic so it's not not the end of the world but it's that weird time of day it's two o'clock so it'll be 2 30 by the time I get back to the yard it's that weird time of day where it's 
early enough that I might get loaded again, but it's late enough where we might be done. <laughs> and when I when I looked at the schedule, every time I get loaded, I get the opportunity to look at our schedule for the day. And I can see how many yards we have left. And so when I looked at the schedule before I left, we still had a pretty good amount of work left, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were done when I got back. But it's just one of those weird, I might get loaded again, we might be done sort of scenarios. But uh, the only way to know for sure is to get back to the yard and see if they load me again. If they load me again, I'll know for sure that I'm getting another load. <laughs> I just got back to the yard a minute ago and I heard those two magic words that every mixer driver loves to hear, wash out. taken four loads and I am done for the day so I will see you guys tomorrow say it louder